I'm Jenna Duda by name, and the name of my business is Joshua Generation Transporters. And that is what we do for the, the living with the buses for the school. I started carrying the schools, which were not the one I have now. And I started without being paid in the school in Karen and in Langata. Then it worked. Then that bus started carrying kids until the kids were more than that bus. It was a 46-seater. Then I started buying the small ones, the, the van, to help it move. Not a real challenge because if you do something with compassion and you love what you are doing, the attitude you have towards what you are doing, you will not see a challenge. So whenever I stepped on doing something, I was doing it with the compassion that I must do it. And I knew what I'm doing is even harder than a man who might go think, let me go for a drink, let me do this. It needs concentration in a full manner of doing it. And that one made me a success woman to what I am today. My first Uno bus, uh, I purchased it in uh, 2013. I went to uh, Alpha Motors and uh, there is when I met somebody from Nakuru and he insisted I'm doing the school bus, he can do the, he can give me a bus. And when I went to Nakuru, I saw it. I was lucky enough to find that they were ready with the first bus, KBV 103A, which was being made as a sample to go to their showroom. They said, we will give you this first one, then whatever is being built for you can go for where this bus was going. And that is how I got the, the first, you know, 51-seater bus. The service that that one has given us made us to think we need another Eno. The other Eno, which is the, the, the KCR I'm talking about, came in 2017. Then the third one, 2019, which is at 51-seater. And we kept on going. We said we can add another one. We found the, that they have changed the 33-seater now is being done 29 seater and the 29 seater came in just the other day 2020 there is a priest uh, a, a grace period to serve to service that vehicle with them until the mileage is over is when you will service it yourself because i normally have a workshop here which i can do what is needed to be done, but the spare part I still get from the Eno place. I don't go to other shops to buy. Uh, gari za Hino, tukifanya service, tuseme kwa mfano, tukibadilisha oil, oil filter, na kufanya service ya air filter, tengeneza brakes, kwa adjust. Sana sana full service na greasing, tunaipa Kilometer elf tano. Inamariza kwa hali nzuri sana. Ikifikia tena tubarilishe oil na filters. Bado tunaona iyo gari iko na roho nzuri ya kuendelea na kazi. Like now the digital side of it has made things easier. You can call the spare part and say what you need. The next thing you will see a rider here after you've done the, the necessary payments which is needed. On a daily basis, on what we cater for, we go on almost 500 kids per day and we love it because we do it with compassion and the staff on board have been trained in a manner to handle those kids in a proper way whereby even to the parents they say you are doing a good job. My name is Samuel Ogonyo, popularly known here as Sam. I'm the transport manager of Joshua Generation Transporters. And being the manager has given me a very good experience. On my experience with Hino, if, if one has to venture into the transport sector, that person must be knowledgeable about vehicles. 
if you don't have knowledge about vehicles, you will not get it right. Because somebody will, will come and uh, sell you a fake uh, spare part, you fit in your vehicle and you start having problems. Based on the first Hino bus that we bought in 2013, we changed the pressure plate after five years of, of, of driving. Our motto is to maintain genuine parts for our vehicles. We start picking kids at 5.15 in the morning. We do our schedules and the, the pickings and dropping in school end at uh, around 7.15 in the morning. After that, after dropping them in school, we come back here to the workshop. The vehicles are cleaned by the respective attendants. And uh, we wait for the two o'clock time for the buses to leave. It became more tougher when the, the, the COVID came in. We stayed almost a year without seeing any single cent because everything was closed. We kept on until now we are on our two feet saying we have seen the Lord still yet. The schools are back to normal. What would you call it to be? You are recovering because that is what where your income comes from. And you can get your check in time with the, the number of kids you have on board. The transport is not an easy job because it is tough. You must have a backup of the vehicles you have that if something breaks down, you will be in a position to move to a next step. And that is why we have a KBA. If you have a backup, you will make it. But if you want to start that business with one vehicle saying, I'm going to do the school transport, I will make it because Jane is doing it and she has made it, you will not make it. This kind of a vehicle um, on the steering wheel has been here for almost uh, a year now and it has been serving us well, carrying kids back, back from home, back to school and back again home. And we, we are praising God and thinking maybe if he opens another door, going for another vehicle, we'll go for Eno.